Hey everybody, welcome to my GPS overview. Before we get started, if you're just here just to know if I give it a thumbs up or thumbs down, I really like this GPS and yes, I recommend it. I think it was a great buy for us. It's worth every penny. The main reason why we picked this GPS was for the fact that you are able to go into the settings, you are able to go into vehicle profile and program it with your height, width, overall length, gross weight, if you would like to add a max speed, and how many propane tanks you carry. And now that these settings are set, the GPS will be sure not to drive you down roads that you are too large for or too heavy for. For us, that's a big deal. We do tons and tons of driving, over 17,000 miles since May. So we want to be sure that we're not getting into roads or situations that we then have to try to get ourselves back out of because we're not supposed to be on that road or maybe we're too large and just physically cannot be on that road. I'd also like to point out we also chose a Garmin GPS rather than using our phone GPS because our phones do not always have a signal. Even though we have Verizon, there are dead spots and we do drop signal. Whereas our GPS with over 17,000 miles used on it so far, it has never lost a signal. And we've been from coast to coast, from Florida to Canada, and not once has it ever lost a signal for us. The GPS in general is very accurate. There has been only one time out of 17,000 miles that it has asked us to make a right turn where there was no right turn. And that's pretty good, considering the miles and miles and miles and miles that there are all across the U.S. One bad turn is really not that bad. I think it's a, a good success rate. So let's go into some of the features that I enjoy about this particular model and GPS. Okay, so here we are. We're going through a simulated drive from Washington, D.C. to New York City. Turn right at the traffic light, then turn left. We feel like the GPS is plenty loud enough for us to hear, and it's very clear. I never have trouble understanding... Turn left at the traffic light. ...understanding what they say. We also like that it gives you kind of plain English. I don't know if you just noticed there it said turn left at the traffic light. It's very helpful. One quarter mile. Be in either of the two left lanes. Then keep left to Main Avenue Southwest. That is something I also appreciate about this GPS. It tells me which lanes I should be in. And it gives me the next step as well. Most of the phone GPS, the ones that we've used anyway, only tell you one step ahead. Keep left toward I-395 North. So I feel having the two steps ahead is a, a great bonus because sometimes these turns come up real quick. So you can see up at the top left corner, it shows you which lanes that it wants you to be in. I can choose any of those three. It also shows me a little preview of what the lane's about to look like up ahead, which I, which I appreciate. And now it's showing me to be in that right lane out of the three. I could probably be in any of those three, but it's suggesting to be in the right side. Be in any of the three left lanes. This is a feature that I also enjoy. It's called the up ahead. So with the up ahead turned on, on the right hand side of the screen, it'll now tell me where the closest gas station is, the closest campground or campsite down at the bottom there, and it'll tell me when the next rest area will be coming up. And this has been, I can't tell you how often I, I glance at that for rest areas and gas stations. It, that, that alone has been worth the price of the GPS for, as far as I'm concerned. I, I've been loving this little heads up display. So now if you did want to choose this gas station spot or rest area area, all you have to do is click it. It'll come up and it'll give you a choice of those gas stations that are in that immediate area. And as you can see, the animation is very clear, it's smooth, it's easy to figure out where it wants me to go and where it wants me to be at. Be in the second lane from the right. The animation helps me be sure that I'm on track and in the proper lane for when we're getting off the exit ramps and onto the ramps. So something else that this GPS does that I just started using now that we've been on the West Coast is elevations. And it'll show you when you're approaching a steep incline, and it'll show you when you're approaching a steep decline. I haven't used that too much over on the East Coast, but going through uh, Arizona, New Mexico, I was I was using it just to I was just kind of curious of how what our elevations were looking like. 
This particular model also has traffic. It will reroute around bad traffic situations. And we've used it once or twice. It, it always gives you the option. It'll come up and ask you, do you want to reroute for the traffic? It'll tell you how much time is being added onto your trip by keeping the current route. And it'll tell you how much time you will save by rerouting. So there you can see we have done 17,319 miles on this GPS so far. So let's take a look at some of these apps. For the most part, I do not use these apps. I really just use this GPS as a GPS. We don't use the backup camera or the baby cam. I will say that we have tried to use it for the Bluetooth phone, but do not like it. We can hear the person on the other line just fine, but whoever we are speaking to always has a hard time hearing us. So apparently the microphone on this is not the best. So we stopped using that. It does do voice command. Say a command. That's all you have to say for it, and it'll come up, and then you can talk through it. We don't use that either. I do use service history, and I'll just put in you know our last oil change, when I did the uh, generator oil last, the last time I did the generator spark plug, and so on and so on. And you can always go in and add your own category. Let's call it front tire change. Or you can make it say whatever you want. And then you can change the what miles you did that at. So it's nice that it keeps a little record for you. So you can see, for the most part, we just use this as a GPS. GPS and service history. Not crazy about the phone function on it. Only because of the feedback that we get. We can hear people fine. They don't hear us too well. Now, something else that we like about this, on this setting, if we wanted to take this out and put it in our car, it's easy enough just to hit the car button, select it, and now you're in car mode, and we can use it in our tow car. All right, everybody, so that's my overview of this GPS. I feel like it is worth every penny. If it would break today, I would replace it tomorrow. I wouldn't want to drive the RV without it. If you have any further questions about this particular GPS, leave them in the comments down below and I will do my best to answer them. If you own this GPS and you would like to comment about if it's helpful or not helpful for you, please leave them down in the comments below as well. I'd like to check them out. Thanks everybody. Drive safe and I will catch you next time.